In many areas of Northern Australia, incorporating legumes into grass pastures is the most efficient way to improve business production and profitability. Here in the Fitzroy River region of Central Queensland, perennial legume pastures are substantially more profitable than grass only pastures and other sown forage options. Economic analyses show that over a 30 year period, incorporating desmanthus or lachina can return better than 15% on extra capital invested and even up to 30% in some cases for lachina. Legumes play an important part at Gordon Downs. A um, couple of reasons we would we were, especially with the Lakina, we were trying to drought proof the property a little bit. The other thing we were trying to do was guarantee our carrying capacity a little bit. So at the moment you can see the uh, pastures are very dry, protein levels are very low. Last year our rainfall was only 350 mil and our average is supposed to be 600. The Lakina's still got a green shoot. Um, the protein levels are up in the Lakina, obviously from the green shoot and the cattle are still doing very well. So by improving our productivity from our pastures, by incorporating legumes into those pastures, we can actually grow more grass, so which is more biomass, so it's more productivity, but also that improves the ground cover of our pastures, and then in turn we can minimise our runoff and erosion that could occur, and therefore benefits for our, our Great Barrier Reef. So there are five main steps when sowing legumes into a grass pasture. The first one is to plan which paddock and which legume to, to choose for that paddock. The second step is to fallow the paddock um, to store adequate moisture before sowing and prepare a fine seed bed. The third step is to ensure that adequate soil fertility and, and by doing that we can do a soil test and then fertilise if required. The fourth step is to plant high quality seed at the right rate at the right time of the year to maximise follow-up rainfall. And the fifth step is to ensure that our legumes are adequately established before grazing commences. Lakina here is planted on 10 metre rows. We followed all the recommendations, two kilos a hectare. We used the spinnaker. Um, we used the beetle bait to protect the um, Lakina from insect pressure when it was first germinating. One thing we did do was plant the grass seed as soon as the lacina was out of the ground, that enabled the, the, um, the grass and the lacina to grow evenly together, I suppose. And it also meant that the uh, paddock wasn't out of production for so long. So when we first start, looked at planting lacina, we took a number of factors into consideration. First of all, we wanted to increase our production. We wanted to produce a consistent article. Um, another factor was we wanted to lower our cost of gain and we wanted to increase our sustainability financially, land condition and also uh, animal performance. When managing perennial legume pastures, it's important to manage the system as a whole and consider both the legume and the grass in the paddock. Data from our Central Queensland properties show that in lacina systems, the edible lacina available to cattle is only 10% of the overall biomass. On average though, cattle eat about half of their diet over the year as lacina. So this means that at different times of the year, they select heavily for the grass or they select heavily for the lacina. Overall though, the most important thing is to make sure that we're matching the long-term carrying capacity to the stocking rate on that paddock. Perennial legume pastures are more profitable than grass only pastures because they provide a higher diet quality on average for a whole year. This means that individual animal live weight gain is increased, more animals can be carried in the same area, and grazing periods are longer. So that means that you produce more kilograms of beef per hectare per year, and all at a lower than average cost compared to other forage options. If good successful establishment is achieved, and then good grazing management is used, these legume pastures can be very productive and very profitable for many decades. So we've found that over the years on our Lakina country, we're averaging 0.75 kilos a day, as opposed to our, um, just our grass country. Obviously during summertime, the Lakina at its peak, the, uh, the bad animals will do up to that kilo a day or a bit over. So we're really getting, cranking some good performance there during summertime. 
The Department of Agriculture and Fisheries have expert staff who are available to help producers in all aspects of legume management, from it be legume establishment to grazing management, cattle nutrition or business performance. If you would like some help, please contact your local beef extension officer or jump on the Future Beef website and have a look at the free tools that are available. Alternatively, you can phone our call centre.